Hi Sagittarius, this is your reading um, for July, August and September. So we're going to see what this reading brings to you. And uh, also this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Um, so yeah, definitely do check that out um, because the thing is this reading will give you some messages but you can also check out your other signs because they might give you other messages. So yeah, definitely do check those out as well. Um, also I want to just remind as well that if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you'd like to purchase a private paid reading, information will also be down below as well. They are done within 24 to 48 hours and the last thing I want to mention is that my intention bracelets are also on Etsy as well So my Etsy shop link is down below. There's also so many other items on there as well. There's crystals there are um, necklaces different jewelry pieces and also intention cards which you can put under your pillow in your wallet or your purse so those are hand embroidered and these are handmade, they're meditated with, they're saged and they're there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life. So if you are interested in them, please do have a look at the Etsy shop. You can also check out the reviews and see how other people have some results with them, international shipping and uh, yeah, so everything is always down there and we're going to get started. Gosh, this deck has like some really thin cards and they're super slippery at the same time. Anyways, let's begin. And I felt like the flowers just matched, you know, the deck really beautifully, especially on this side. So yeah, let's begin, um, see what's coming through Sagittarius, and also what messages I can give to you. So first of all, we're going to start with four cards for July, and then I'm going to pick out a crystal message. And then we're going to do another four cards, message, another four cards, and message. And I will talk about um, each month as I get the cards out if that makes sense. So let's begin first of all with July and see what's coming through. Two of Pentacles. The Hanged Man. The Chariot. magician okay well let's just say that July is definitely bringing you a lot of movement now I have to say this might this might you know trip you out a little bit but this is how tarot truly works it is a bit mind-blowing okay I just have to warn you this is mind-blowing um, but so <laughs> in July we have got the mercury retrograde in the sign of Cancer. Yes, that is how tarot works, right? So the magician is ruled by Mercury and the chariot is ruled by Cancer. When we put two and two together, of course, there is a Mercury retrograde in Cancer, which by the way, it started in June, but it actually ends on the 12th of July. So we have got that overlap with it happening also in July. So that is how mind-blowing tarot can be. And that is just so, so significant. And this is how I read. So at least it gives you an idea as to, you know, how I read tarot as well and how the messages do correlate with what's happening quite literally um, and quite physically in the skies. So we've got also the Hanged Man. Uh, hanged Man is ruled by Neptune, which is all about spirituality. So I do feel very much so that in, um, well, in, in July specifically, and also carrying forward into August as well, that you're really going to find yourself feeling um, like you really want to take part in things that make you feel much more mindful. Now, when we talk about mindfulness, there's so many different things that you can do. There's, you know, different parts in spirituality, and then there's, you know, things like reading a book, or riding a bike, taking a walk, sitting in nature, doing things for yourself that make you feel really good are also different forms of mindfulness, like taking a bath, or even taking a salt bath, for example. Those things are really tied to mindfulness as well. And then you've also got the more spiritual elements, which can be, for example, um, yoga, meditation, journaling, things like that are also quite mindful or mindful focused. So I really feel here that there is a very strong energy of you in July wanting to do things that bring you so much more mindfulness and just bring you so much more peace and happiness and much more balance in your life as well. Now we have got the Mercury retrograde in Cancer and when we do have the Mercury retrograde, regardless of whichever sign it's in, which of course this time it's in Cancer, there is this energy of you um, at times feeling like you know you just want to progress, you just want this retrograde to be over, you just want to, you know, get to a point where you feel good, you feel balanced. There is this real strong need for you here in July to have balance. Like, I can't 
push that enough to you, you will just feel like, oh my god, I don't want to be in this chaos. Oh my god, I don't want this to happen. Oh my god, why is this happening? You know, so the thing is, with the Mercury retrograde, at times you may feel like communication, technology, and travel is just like a little bit off. So if you do make a trip um, at the beginning of um, July, because it happens from the, well, if we talk specifically about July, you know, the 1st to the 12th is when you do have the retrograde. Of course, it begins in June, but hey, you know, let's not talk about June, let's talk about July. So um, really up until the 12th, you know, you may feel like, ah, oh, everything's, you know, a little bit all over the place. You may feel like your Wi-Fi doesn't work. You may feel you accidentally send the wrong message, you know, to someone. You may feel that you accidentally forget to proofread something, and so it's just, you know, a bit jumbled up, um, things like that. So you may also feel like, you know, travel gets delayed or things start, you know, freezing and breaking and things like that. So yeah, you may feel like, ah, oh, that kind of energy. I don't know how else to describe it, but I want you to know that after that, things will get better, all right? Things will become much more balanced. You've got the two sphinx, which also represent yin and yang, so there's much more balance, there's much more harmony, there's much more peace, there's more fulfillment, and uh, you will feel much better. I know that sometimes it's hard, and it's like, really, we really like, like, where? Where? <laughs> but you will. Um, and that's the, the beauty of July here, is that there is a month, really, of two halves, and that's what I'm seeing, you know, you've got the two here, you've got the two here, it is a month of two halves, and Mercury is just, you know, being a full-on, mm, beep beep, you know? <laughs> um, so, we've got the, um, well, not beep beep, it's more like bleep, um, <laughs> magician here really showcasing as well that there's going to be more balance that comes to you because you've got all of these elements sitting on a table and we think when we think of a table right it's got four legs usually usually it's got four legs most of the time and uh, four is of course a number in tarot which also signifies balance and stability as well so here you have this real need for balance and stability and it's really a month of two halves as mentioned but try not to work against the, the energy of a retrograde try and just go with it um, you'll feel much much better um, in that sense so let's pick out a crystal message we've got here courage okay you've got this see you have got this courage it takes courage to deal with um things like this but uh, you also have the courage and i also do feel that you will find the courage which is good because again it's you know it really is a month of two halves but i feel that you will feel so much stronger and much better as the month also progresses and also this is really about you finding balance and finding so much more peace and happiness and a content energy within yourself which is going to happen emotionally as well because this Mercury retrograde is quite emotional, you know, it can make you feel super emotional when things don't go your way, but um, eventually things are going to balance out to the point where you will also find, that, okay, whew, cancer season is finally supporting me, <laughs> you, will, you will feel that way, okay, so yeah, because um, the sun is also going to be in cancer in July, um, so... It is. It is, isn't it? It is. Why am I having such a blank moment? It is, right? It is. Okay. Anyways, so... Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> I'm just having such a blank moment. My goodness. Okay, so now we go to August. Let's see what's coming through. Card that just fell almost on my lap. So you've got Judgment, you've got the Queen of Swords. Now, um, Pluto is going to be in retrograde. Pluto's been in retrograde for a while, to be honest, and uh, it still carries forward throughout the months. So we have got Judgment, of course, ruled by Pluto. We've got the Queen of Swords. We are now into August. I just thought I'd clarify that again. Okay, we've got the Four of Pentacles and also the Four card as well. And let's see what this crystal is bringing us. accept okay so this is about also accepting decisions um, and also um, accepting something that you might be asked so you might be asked like hey do you want to do this and you might be thinking should I accept should I reject because there's a decision that needs to be made here so this is quite interesting and the the guys are saying accept so there's something that you might be thinking like okay should I do this should I not do this I'm not sure if I should do this I'm not sure if it's good for me and I'm getting a message of accept just saying because this could be a new journey it could be something really good for you and um, it could also 
you know, you might feel really spontaneous because the thought is quite a spontaneous energy, I'm not gonna lie, you know, so you might feel like, oh yeah, you know, you might want to do it one second, next second you'll be like, no, I'm just gonna do what I want to do, I'm just gonna sit here, you know, or I, I just want to do, you know, what I'm already doing and I don't want to add anything more to my plate so this is about you know one second feeling like you want to do it the next second you're feeling like mm, not really sure I just want to kind of do what I already have go going on so the queen of swords here shows a decision like a decision that you need to make and also the judgment here shows that as well right because judgment is about making a decision and it's also about you know accepting or rejecting so here I see you thinking about what to do and I feel like the message here that's coming across is that accepting it can be a really good thing and that is what I need to share with you apparently for August so um yeah there's also certain things I feel in August that you might you know feel like oh you know this is not the way I want things to be or oh okay you know this is what's happening so there is this need for acceptance also um in regards to August um but also there's something that you can accept if you want to accept it, but I feel like it can be good to accept it, so I'm just saying. Okay, so that is August in a nutshell. It's really interesting because that's literally all I see here for you for August. It's, it's literally all I see, but I feel like it's such a make or break thing for so many of you that you'll be like, wow, you know, I'm really glad that was like one of the only messages that came through for August, which is interesting. But let's see. September. Okay. Let's have a look. We've got the Four of Cups here. We've got here the Queen of Wands. Something just moved. I don't know if you heard that, but something moved and then one of my cards also on the side here moved. I wish that happened on camera because, whew, oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Um, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, before as well, um, cards have moved in my videos. Um, I can't remember which one it is because I upload so many videos, but it did happen once also in a video and someone pointed it out to me. And then the other thing which is really crazy is that there's an actual angel, 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 angel um, engraved like actually into my table, but it's not engraved because it's wood. So it's part of the graining, which is also really crazy. And I made a video on it and so many people were like, oh my God, you know? Um, so it is on my channel. If you type in um, shocking into the um, search bar of my YouTube channel, if you go on my channel and you go in the search bar and you type in shocking, you will find that video. Okay, there, there, there are things, you know, it's not scary perhaps, but it's, it's just like, okay, okay. <laughs> You're having your own moment. Um, so, right, September. Let's just get with it. <laughs> right, let me just see what message we have here. We've got here wisdom. Okay. There you go. Let's put that right here. It's interesting. It's really interesting. Um, I, I just feel, especially with this Four of Cups, is that you're making, you know, decisions and choices that um, really suit you. You're not just, you know, doing things just for the sake of them, or you're not just accepting everything that you are being presented on a platter, which I also think is really interesting. Now, that could also mean a lot more. That that could also, it's not just in, in regards to, like, career or love opportunities or things like that. It's also about, like, simple things. Like, for example, you might decide you want to eat a lot healthier so that you you know, you might actually literally be presented with a platter of lots of different foods and some of them could be unhealthy and some of them could be healthy and then you'll you'll be making, I guess, decisions that just serve and suit you. You know, it's, it's not my place to say what you should and shouldn't be eating, obviously, but you might decide to, you know, maybe be a bit, bit healthier and choose to, you know, eat like healthier foods and things like that so um it's just what i'm seeing here is that i feel like you're going to be here making wise choices um of course you know when it comes to food and things like that i always believe that everything in moderation you know that's the thing is that you know from time to time we will want to eat certain things we will want to do certain things and i just feel like restricting ourselves can oftentimes make us feel worse so it's just about doing everything in moderation but here i see you making wise choices this can be to do with food this can be to do with career opportunities um this could be to do with um certain people that you want in and around your life you know you might think like hmm not sure this person's really that great for me so maybe i don't really want to you know communicate with them so this is you making choices for yourself and your own personal energy and just doing everything in moderation doing everything in balance is really the best way to to do things in life I, I really do feel that's the best thing and I do feel that that's what you're doing here which I think is quite healthy in many ways see the queen of wands here shows nourishment so it shows you doing things for you you know feeling good being you know feeling and 
well, feeling your soul, but also just, you know, feeling quite good in that sense. So um, this is actually a very, very beautiful energy. It's, it's healthy energy. And I do feel that in many ways, you know, especially with that like fiery energy that we see here. Remember, I read energies in tarot, not specifically genders. This is about you feeling good. You know, this is about you feeling nourished. This is about you feeling, you know, like, yes, I made some wise decisions and I feel so much better, um, especially in regards to that. So the Six of Cups here shows, you know, you also getting back in return for making these wise choices. You feel much more peace. You feel happiness. Um, you may also feel just so much better in your body, mind, and soul. And then the Knight of Cups here also shows, I know that some of you might be thinking, really, Moonlight, is there nothing to do with love in this reading? <laughs> This actually does show you having opportunities in love also in September, whether you are, you know, with someone or whether you're single or whether you are in a situation with someone, this here shows love and it also shows a sense of excitement, a flirtatious energy. It shows just you feeling so much more content and feeling attractive towards yourself. Like I feel that in September, you're going to feel so much attraction towards yourself. You're going to be like, yes, you know, I am fire. I have got this. I am so, you know, I'm so... I'm such a good person, like, of course, you know, um, so you're just going to feel so good about yourself, and that's why others are also going to see you in that way as well, which is why you may get lots of options and choices of people, you know, sort of coming back into your life, or wanting to explore things with you, this could also be family members that just want to, you know, reach out and do more with you, which I think is also quite interesting, you're going to get a lot, basically, like a lot, a lot of people, um, and so this is about you making wise choices, you know, wise, wise choices, it's just across the board. And that is what I'm seeing for you. So that is your reading. And if this reading resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course my intention items, which are on Etsy. And definitely do take care of yourself as well. Bye.